Welcome back guys, Vision here with Blind Entertainment, bringing you guys another video. Today I'm going to be doing my review of Walking Dead Episode 9, Honor. Now if you're into The Walking Dead and you want to know my thoughts, TV show, or comic, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon, that way you won't be able to miss any more Walking Dead content I put out my channel. Now let's begin. So we start this episode with a brief montage of Carl returning back with Sadiq. We see him playing with Judith, uh, fixing up his wound. And then putting Sadiq in the uh, sewer where he hit him in episode 8. Now, there are good and bad aspects of this montage that I like. I like the montage we get with Judith and him with the wound and stuff like that. And him changing his clothes. I like that. However, the one area I did not like about this montage is the whole him and Sadiq moments. I feel like... If they had added some dialogue to those moments, I think it would have been a lot better and furthered their bond. I feel like, yes, introducing Sadiq with, with Carl has given him a bit more purpose in the show than the comics did. But they haven't had really too much dialogue. I feel like if they had given us more dialogue with this character, given us a few more scenes where they talk, maybe Carl understands more of his kind of reasoning behind being like the whole mercy prevails over my wrath. I think that would have been some great moments and could have furthered their bond a little bit more instead of just kind of having that montage. I mean, I, I'm not going to complain too much, but I just think just polishing that up with some dialogue, adding that in, probably would have been some great scenes. So we, get, But other than that, I'm not going to complain, like I said. It's a great, good scene, be, good beginning part. I like that kind of five minute with Tobin we get there that was good I like I always like Tobin he's one of my favorite characters well secondary characters and I like him and I, I'm glad they're kind of giving him a little bit more screen time I really hope he ends up dying this season I hope he makes it out I have an idea of what they could do to kill him off but I don't want him to die this season I really like Tobin and I hope he sticks around but so with this montage I really liked it like I said, though, could have been polished up, but overall, not going to complain. Just a little nitpick here and there, but other than that, it was fine. So then we get a little scene of Morgan, a flashback of him at the sniper nest outside the sanctuary, and it it's revealed how Negan and the Saviors escaped the sanctuary, and how Morgan also escaped, given that the other snipers did not survive. And I liked how they did that. I think we needed that scene to show how Morgan was the only one who survived. I do kind of wish they had shown a couple more snipers surviving with him, but I guess we didn't really need them. They're kind of just background casualties that just didn't matter. But I just kind of wish they had that. I, I mean, it could have been nothing. They could have just been eaten by walkers maybe as they're escaping. Morgan sees them. But I'm happy with what we got. But moving on, now let's get into the whole big part of this episode and Carl's death. So now we got Carl, and he's dying, as we all know. We get ba caught back up to present day. And now I know a lot of people were talking about, like, why wasn't Rick freaking out? Why wasn't he, like, breaking down, like, with Rory's death? And I think, honestly, the, the, it was a good thing that they didn't have them have him breaking down in front of Carl. I mean, think about it this way. Carl's his son. He's dying. These are going to be his last minutes he's going to remember of his father. And... W if, imagine this being you. Would you really, if you were dying, want to be see, be the last thing you see of your father, of, of him breaking down and crying? I don't think, I think Rick was trying to keep it together, keep himself calm, and then after the fact, he'll probably break down. I don't think we needed him, like, freaking out, breaking down like he did with Rory. I think this is great. I think this is a great way to show how Rick has grown also. Because think about it, he's probably grown as a character since season three and since Rory. So I think that's a great way to show that. And I don't think, like I said, I don't think we needed him to break down and cry and, like, be all broken up. So I, I'm glad of what we got in this scene. I, like I said... Maybe you think differently, but I think this is great. Like I said, this is Carl's last few minutes of his life. You don't need, he doesn't need to see Rick breaking down. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let's get into the goodbyes, because like I predicted, Daryl split up from Rick and Michonne. And we had a couple goodbyes between him, Sadiq, Daryl, and Judith. Now, first off, let's talk about Judith, because I really, really like Judith's. And I think it was done great. I like how they had him repeat his the line his mom said before he she died back in season three. And I think it was a, such a great scene. And I was kind of like a passing of the torch in a kind of way. Like, 
this is what his mom said to him before he died, before she died. And now this is what he's saying to Judith before he dies. And it's kind of like a passing of the torch. He didn't make it. And now it's her job to carry on what he's done and move his story kind of forward in a way. If you, if you understand what I'm saying, I think that it's kind of like that kind of moment. I really, really liked his goodbye to Judith. It was, I actually got to say, I got a little choked up in that moment and I really, really enjoyed it. I think it was probably one of the best scenes of the episode of the episode as a whole. And I think it's probably one of the most, in my opinion, most memorable Carl scene at least. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Now we got Daryl. Now Daryl's one that I think kind of fell weak in this episode. Like we only got that line where he's like, he turns to Carl and he points to everybody in the sewer and he's like, oh, this is because of you. You did this. I feel like that was a really, really weak way for Daryl to say goodbye to Carl. Like, they've been together since the start of the apocalypse. They've known each other since season one. And to just have that be his final line to Carl, that being his goodbye, it felt so weak. They could have done so something so much better, and I just feel like it fell flat. I feel like they could have done so many, brought up so many other things that happened in episodes, and I just feel like it fell flat. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Then we got Sadiq. Now, Sadiq's was alright. I think it's probably one of the okay ones, but I feel like there could have just been a couple polishing up of scenes. I think it felt a little too, you know, rehearsed in a way. I think there was a couple moments in the dialogue where it felt like that wouldn't be like how a normal person would say goodbye. I feel like they could have just changed up the dialogue a bit and they could have just had him just say, you know, thank you for saving me and I'll stick with your people and protect them. I'll serve your dad as a loyal member of his community. Something like that. I think we could have had something great with Sadiq where he just thanks Carl and says, you saved my life and for that I'll be ever indebted to you and I'll do my best to serve your dad and your people and carry on your legacy that you taught me something like that you didn't need anything like too rehearsed or too hollywood and that's kind of how i feel like sadiq's performance was in that moment i feel like it was just a little bit too rehearsed and just not like so how someone would actually speak in that moment other than that i think it was all right i think just a polish up with dialogue would have fixed it but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below then after that, Daryl leaves to bring the rest of the survivors to the hilltop and Rick and Michonne bring Carl to the church. Now, I really like the scene with him, him and Michonne and how he calls her his best friend. Now, I know a lot of people were hoping he would call her mom, but think about it. They've only known each other for up until a year, maybe at most a year, maybe a year and a half. Not enough time, in my opinion, for them to form a relationship where he looks at her as a mom. I think... Him calling her his best friend was perfect. I never really saw saw them having a mom son kind of relationship. I saw it more of as kind of like a friend, maybe even an aunt and a you know nephew kind of relationship. I think that's most at most what they had, and I think having that scene was perfect. We didn't need anything other than what we got. I just let me know what you guys think though in the comment section down below. Do you think would you have liked that scene, or do you think what we got was fine? And then we get the scene between Carl, goodbye scene between Carl and Rick. And I really like this scene. And it's revealed that the old man Rick scenes are actually Carl's vision of what he hoped the future would be. And Rick tells him he'll make sure that he'll make all of it come true. Well, to an extent, I believe. He'll probably make everything come true to an extent. And as kind of like Carl's dying wish. And I like that because it kind of gives the festival that they'll have in season 9 kind of a purpose. And give other events that happen later on a bit more of a purpose than just having them happen because if you understand what I mean and then now the one thing I think that won't happen though is Rick with a cane and having a broken leg because I think if this is Carl's vision since this is Carl's vision of the future he's not going to be able to predict Rick breaking his leg or having a cane so I think that was just playing om paying homage to the comics and Rick probably won't have a cane in the new beginning. But I like how they did that and play, paid homage to the comics in that sense. But like I said, I don't think they'll do that. Because it's just too, like, Carl seeing the future in a way. Kind of just too ridiculous sounding in my opinion. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And then... After he says goodbye to Rick and Michonne, they leave and sit outside the church and Carl 
kind of puts himself down with a silent gun, and I like that. I like that, and I like how the scene also kind of mirrors Andrea's death in a way, paying homage to season three and Andrea's death in a way, similar to what the show's been doing for the one hundredth episode this season. I like that. I think that was such a great way to just kind of flashback to past seasons and pay homage to other fallen characters. Now, at the same time as Carl Dine, you got Carol and Morgan breaking into the kingdom to rescue Ezekiel. Now, I really like these scenes, and I really like the whole battle between Morgan, Carol, and the Savers. I think that was great, but this part of the story and everything that happens towards the end of it is probably the biggest con I have with the story and one of the things I hate about this episode the most, and I'm going to get into that right here. Like I said, I like these scenes. I like the battle. I like Morgan ripping the guts out of the guy. I think that was an awesome scene. And the one thing I really loved about this episode is the humanizing of Gavin. Because you could really see in this episode, he hated his job pretty much. He hated having to be the bad guy. And he regretted it pretty much. And that's why I hated the whole end scene between him and... Morgan and then Henry because they humanized him so good in this episode and I love it when they humanize these villains and you can honestly tell that even though he was a savior Gavin didn't want to do the things he was doing he hated it and that's the thing that I loved about this episode so much and you have you could honestly tell I'm telling you if you didn't see it go back and watch it because you can honestly say he didn't want to kill Ben he doesn't want to kill Ezekiel you can honestly see he was a good guy and I think they cut his story really short by killing him off so early I think if they hadn't had Henry do what he did he could have easily joined the sur- the survivors and joined them in fighting Negan and I think we could have used that very much you need some of the good saviors to survive you don't need all of them to die sure he's one of his top men but I think that would have been great having him and Dwight both they could have both survived and having the bad ones like Regina and Simon die you didn't need Gavin to die in this episode it was such a waste and I'm just so upset with how they did it and it's probably one of my biggest gripes of this season so far. Now furthermore with the whole Gavin's death I really hated it because if you look Oh, ever looked at the scenes of Henry and the adults he was always being knelt down to by Ezekiel or Morgan or Carol or any of the adults to be face to face so I highly doubt this kid would be able to stab Gavin through the neck I would have believed that more if it was through the back and it pierced him through the chest that would have been fine but through the neck it just looks so unbelievably fake in my opinion it just was so annoying I think a better way to do this whole scene was when Morgan's wrestling with whether to kill Gavin or not you see Henry appear and if you remember back to season two when Rick and Shane were debating whether to kill Randall you have it kind of mirror that scene and have Henry appear and just be like do it just do it to Morgan and then kind of have it mirror that scene kind of having it call back to that scene as well like you got Carl dying and then you got this kid kind of replaying that kind of scene and maybe being coming the next kind of kid who be, turns to the dark side now I know a lot of people think that Henry's going to become comic Carl but I don't see it but I think if even if they just mirrored or kind of played that scene out similar to that scene I think it would have been such a great callback but let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I think that would have been great and better way. I think Gavin died too soon and we could have gotten more from his character. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. So yeah guys, those are my thoughts on The Walking Dead Season 8 Episode 9 Honor. Again, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon. That way you won't miss any of my future Walking Dead reviews or any other kind of topics of Walking Dead I do on my channel. This has been Vision with Blind Entertainment and I'll see you next time.